Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. So have you ever heard the expression, you're one in a million? Or there's, you know, you, you after you, God broke the mold. Or um, uh, this idea that, that you're unique, um, uh, you're one of a kind. It, it's it's a concept that can be a compliment or it can be um, an insult. You know, we, we can talk about things that are uniquely wonderful and things that are uniquely, uh, ugh. Um, I, I, I think about that because of the Psalm that I was reading this morning in my quiet time. It was Psalm 86. And there's a passage in verse 8 that says, There is none like you among the gods, O Lord. In other words, Israel surrounded by pagan nations and Israel uh, finding paganism in its own land, in its own country, people worshiping other gods. Uh, the, the psalmist in the midst of that paganism says, there's, there, none of those gods are like God. God is unique. God's one of a kind. Now, this is not meant in a negative way. The psalmist means it in a, in a positive way because he says that God alone does great and wondrous things. Now, I've been thinking about that this morning because I, I know that the paganism of today and the paganism that threatens me is not uh, worshiping Molech or an Asherah pole or something like we would have found back in Israel back in the day. Today, the bigger concern is worshiping the, the moment, worshiping the job, worshiping commercialism, possessions. Um, if you think of worship as finding value and and are ascribing value and worth, then you 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 get into a much bigger focus of what it is we worship, what what we consider of value and worth. And and I'm absolutely convinced that that's why we can properly say the idols of our day aren't uh, deities of of some supernatural origin, but rather are the plain and simple things that we have in front of us. The, the things that we want and desire, the things that we seek out to give us pleasure, the things that, that we lean on in times of difficulty. And the bottom line is, that just as the commandments say to put no other gods in front of God, the same attitude should apply to us in terms of our life. What we value, what we turn to in times of difficulty, what we um, seek out for ourselves should be nothing less than the holy presence of the holy God because there is none like him. I'm doing these devotionals, a couple of them this week. I, I'm up here in New York City, and New York City has a boatload of busy commercialism. I mean, there are shops everywhere you turn. Uh, there are people hustling and bustling everywhere. And I want to stand up on a rooftop. Not really. The rooftop's really high here. But I want to stand up with a megaphone and declare there is none like you among the gods. In all of New York City and all of the world, there is no one who's reliable, who does great and wondrous things, who loves me unconditionally and seeks my best interest, who truly is there in times of crisis, who provides direction and when I'm lost, there is no one like our God. I can take that video thought into the weekend. I hope you can too. I look forward to next week and our video chats each day.
Meanwhile, this is your video thought for today.